Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ai. And this is Anton. Welcome to another mix exclusive. Grab it. Our our guest. You know, they they make amazing music. I got asked to speak. Uh, spoke to you know. Please welcome Dylan Braden Cole of Wallows. What's up, guys? Hello. 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 Right, Thank so you so much for giving us some of your time, guys. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you we're for giving us yours. to be here. Yeah. Yeah. So let's quickly just let's 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 go. Uh, Braden, Dylan, and Cole. Can you just say hello to all your fans, all your Filipino fans, and let us know where exactly you guys are right now. Yes. Um, hello, everyone out there watching. This is amazing. Um, I'm calling from my uh, bedroom in California. That's where I am. Uh, I'm also in California. I'm at my uh, my girlfriend's dad's house right now. Hey. <laughs> I'm in my bedroom in California too. Well, we're well obviously we're here. Kidding. Yeah, <laughs> we're 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 here in the Philippines, and uh, we just want to know like what what have you guys been up to during quarantine these days? We we saw that you guys had an IG uh, live. We'll talk about that in a bit. Well, what else have you guys been doing these days? Well, we've been. Uh, <laughs> uh, We've been working on uh, some music, actually, uh, uh, separately from each other. We've been kind of uh, transferring uh, music, like back and forth, like files, music. <laughs> yeah. We've been creating, you know, a little something, something for everyone out there. Maybe your ears will hear it soon. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's what we've been doing. And also just kind of, uh, I was saying I was watching Fresh Prince, a lot of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Uh, oh, uh, great show it's so funny i i haven't laughed out loud at a show i'm gonna start it oh it's on hbo max i'm gonna start it over from the beginning i'm on the pilot right now so i haven't gotten that far but I feel, I feel <laughs> you've like, been watching it i've been watching it for about long. 10 minutes <laughs> um I, I have like five minutes left of the pilot but i laughed so hard i'm gonna watch the whole so you're about so you're about 15 minutes into the episode i it's only like a 20 minute episode yeah, I'm 15 yeah. Minutes in. cool so you've been binging it for 15 minutes. I've been so busy it. this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's so funny. You just can't stop watching the same 15 minutes over and over every day. <laughs> well, you guys, uh, Braden said that um, <clears throat> you've been sending music uh, back and forth. But um, we remember that you guys did an IG live together um, in Cole's place. And um, did you guys record anything new there? I mean, we know you previewed your new song there. Um, but um, did you get to write a new song together? Wow, we were together in person? Mm hmm mm hmm uh, No. We <laughs> have been working on the same songs for a while now. Um, but we're wrapping things up on some things. <laughs> so um, we're about to, like, dive head first into, like, just so many songs. We're gonna write a bunch of new songs because um, eventually we have to record uh, a second album. You know, so mm -hmm. just getting ready for that whenever we can do that, which we're which we're very excited about. But there's new stuff ready to almost ready to go, which we're which we're really excited about. Yeah, everybody's excited about it, especially your fans. They they're wanting um, more music. Will that be a possibility in the year of 2020? This is a very tough year, and and new music from you guys would probably be. Uh, a highlight in, in whatever's happening these days. It's possible. It's definitely possible. Yeah, I'd say that it's 100% possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe 101% I'd be confident enough to say. <laughs> so it seems like you guys already have a timeline um, of when you're going to release um, new music. We do. We we yeah we actually we actually got a call today about it. We do. We have the <laughs> yeah. timeline. We know the exact timeline, but you know Ooh. what? We're not gonna tell you. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it as a surprise. We'll keep it as a surprise. Mm -hmm. I, I respect it. Now, now, um, let's talk about some music that you already have released and and people love it. Um, specifically, are you bored yet? You guys released some um an acoustic version. Was this was this something that you know? because of, of what's happening now you just wanted to kind of switch up the vibe from one of your songs yeah yeah i, I mean that's yeah go, 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 go. go. oh okay go go. I, I think uh it was also you know obviously us along with many 
other artists had to cancel a lot of shows and plans this year. So um, the idea was just coming from a lack of being able to play live, I think. Um, even though we did play that, that or, or did that acoustic thing all separate from each other, at least like there's like a 1% feeling of like, oh, like we, we performed a song. Um, I think that's why that idea happened. How do you sort of pick which song of yours you're gonna make a new version of? Because yeah, you, you, you got you guys have a lot of songs, uh, but why specifically this one song? Whatever stream so is best. What... Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 the shortest. <laughs> Whatever the kids want to hear. Whatever yeah. the label is pushing us to do more things for. <laughs> that, that, is the, that is the we sold our soul answer, but. Yeah, yeah. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I mean, it comes down to two things. I think one thing is kind of, you know, what is kind of connecting the most with people. Like, that is one way to look at it. So, like, my streaming answer is like a joke, but also kind of true because it's something that people want to hear. And then the other part of it is a song that you think can, like, present itself in a different way that, like, you didn't be able to, like, that you weren't able to necessarily pull off in the record. So, like, a song like Treacherous Doctor, a song of ours, we did an acoustic version of that that I think we wanted to do because it enhanced the song in a different light. Like it presented itself in a different light. Um, it enhanced itself in a different light is hilarious. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, we get it, we get it. Yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, okay, we, we, that, that's, that, that's, the real, that's the real answer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But well, I also like, mm -hmm. all the, oh. Uh, no, I was just saying that um, although, like, are you bored yet? Yes, like that is, absolutely doing the best for us right now and it's super you know we're excited about it but um i think uh it, i mean i think it has a lot to do with the fact that a lot of people are like literally bored and staying at home so like it's just there's a lot of people that are just listening to that song i guess and so it makes sense that like if we like doing an acoustic version of that like it people are connecting to that song right now for a reason so that's also just why we wanted to do it because it's it feels relevant you know for a lot of people it seems so that's really another reason why so yeah you know from your music videos and just watching you guys you know right now answer in, in, the, in the in the past few minutes we had we really see how your chemistry and your bond because you guys uh were close friends since you guys were 11 years old if i'm not mistaken how is it like you know um from being friends at a very young age and then now i say you're living the dream of a lot of um groups of friends in making music how is that like Gosh, I mean, we're we're extremely, extremely lucky uh, to be doing what we're doing. You know, I, it's uh, it is truly um, an honor. I don't know. I, it's it's weird. Like, yeah, it is. If you told if you told eleven year old me what we were doing now, I wouldn't. I probably would be like, "You're a liar." Um, so, yeah, we are very grateful. and We are extremely lucky. So. It's great. Yeah, there's definitely some like there's definitely some like pinch yourself moments for sure. Like because we just that's the fun stuff we're doing right now. Like are things that we sort of dreamed about when we were yeah like twelve when we were playing together thirteen. So it, it's weird how like if we ever bring that up, it's and we'll, like bring up something from the past. Like remember this time and how different it is from now. It's just I'm we're really honored. I'm so excited and like just super inspired that like what we're doing, people actually care. You know, um, but, yeah. I'm also curious about your sound and your style because whenever I hear your music, whenever I see your videos, it's like I'm being transported back in time with your set design, your outfits. Your outfits uh, yes. Did you guys decide on this right from the start? Like, okay, um, let's do this. Um, let's not be, you know, um, like everyone else in the current time period. But how did you decide on this? That's a great question. I don't know. It's like, I know, but I don't know. It's like a weird thing. Yeah. I feel I mean, like, yeah, what do you think? Cole? Go, Brandon, go, Brandon. Continue. Oh, gosh. I don't know what I was going to say. Well, <laughs> okay. Again, I think we, all three of us, were, were born in the 90s and sort of grew up on a lot of the stuff from that era. So I think, like, deep within our, like, deep psyche, that sort of thing is there. Like, I watched um, High School Musical 2, yesterday or two, or two days ago and that movie as like ridiculous as as it be in disney and like i don't know there's things about it that are so insane it's so good <laughs> it, is, it is cinematic 
It is so captivating. I was laughing out loud the entire time because it was so ridiculous. And I think that that sense of just like joy is kind of what inspires us. But at the same time in the nineties, some of the most amazing music uh, was being made from like an artistic standpoint. So it's it's just like an insane, like smashing together of, of worlds that I think is cool. Was that the first time you watched High School Musical too? No, but I, I hadn't watched it probably in like, since it came out. Yeah. Like well, when you're started, watching it. I remember yeah. Yeah. the night that aired, I had like a, I remember like me and my other little kids like had a big viewing party of it. We're like so excited. Like that was, that was a huge day. And I bought CD on soundtrack. The soundtrack on CD yeah. only and knew all the songs. That so when it aired, I was like singing everyone. I was like, this is so And the dance steps. Let's not let's not forget that. Oh my gosh. Dude, what 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 the time is it is a smash? I mean, come on. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know, no, <laughs> talking about your talking about your childhood. Yes, what time is it? Talking about your childhood. Uh, we know that I heard that your name, you got the name Wallows from uh, an old game that I actually used to play, Tony Hawk's Underground. Uh, there was a stage there in Hawaii where it's called Wallows. Do you guys skate or did you just you just play the video game and then you saw the name and you're like, this is a pretty good name? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I I used to I used to skate when I was younger, actually. So I skated for like for like maybe like four years of my life or something. I skated with my neighborhood friends. Like it was a great it was kind of a great time of my life being a kid, like hanging out with the kids, like calling them up on like your landline, being like, yo, can you guys like <laughs> and yeah. skate and then um tony x underground was just one of those games that kind of changed my life and then yeah when we were thinking of band names i just like was like what can we call ourselves and we thought of a million awful names terrible terrible names and then um i was just kind of uh i was just kind of chilling one day in this in the sweat jack box thing and um i thought of wallows um it's it's really the truth. I, I the organic sweat shack. It's so nice, you know. Um, I love I love the quote that you said. It was a great time of my life being a kid, hanging out with all the kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so. You give it a bit of song. You give it a song. That's gonna be the tagline of no, the article anyway, we write true. about this. Yeah. <laughs> being at a great no, time anyway, of life being a kid, hanging yeah, out with all the kids. Hilarious. But that is that is basically. Um, that is uh, how, how it came to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, now let's talk it. about, let's talk more about um, your music releases. Um, let's talk about Nobody Gets Me Like You. Like um, we talked about earlier, um, you guys previewed <laughs> oh. this in um, your Whoa. IG live for the Bail Project. Congratulations, by the way, for raising like more than 10,000 K. Uh, uh, 10, 10 K, <laughs> more than 10 K. <laughs> Yeah, like a billion. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we raised a billion dollars. Um, that would be a lot. Yeah, no, it was really, it was really exciting and felt so good. Uh, it was awesome. It was really fun. But yes, continue, continue. Yes. Um, can you tell us more about the song? <gasps> um, um. I mean, I mean, we did kind of already. Yeah, we already like previewed it. I mean, the song. Yeah came out of um like a writing session we did with our friends Sachi and John shout out to Sachi and John and um it was just kind of a really fun day and we kind of were just working on it and uh the song is about a girl she's uh, my girlfriend um <laughs> Cole, it doing? and it uh it uh it's finished like the actual song um and it has a great team of people on it, and we're really excited about it. it I'm really proud of this song. I'm really excited for it to come out. Are there any Me plans too. to shoot a music yeah. video for it? I mean, I know everyone's in quarantine, but um, some artists are all, also releasing uh, music videos while in quarantine. So we were wondering if you guys were down to do one as well. There is a uh, 100% a possibility that yes, there may. <laughs> be a possibility of a 100 percent chance that that's happening Ooh. <laughs> have you guys shot it already is it done is there a possibility that you guys have shot it <laughs> there is a there's a hundred percent there's a hundred percent possibility that we didn't that we, okay okay we got it we got it there's a hundred percent okay now let's talk about let's talk about a song that you already have released uh recently as well uh with a little help from my friends and 
you know, I watched music video and it shows, you know, all these clips of you guys hanging out, you know, the time in between you know, performing. Who documented these? And was it was it a plan that you're gonna document these uh, moments and put them in the music video? Well, a lot of the a lot. like pieces in that video, yeah, a lot of the bits in the video had already existed, like in other sort of like tour doc videos. But then a lot of it was not used before. But they're all done by yeah, our our, our friend Nikolai, who tours with us and like takes a bunch of pictures and uh, videos, and one of our best friends. Um, and then also some like random cell phone videos like that our manager recorded and stuff we it's and it wasn't a plan like we had recorded the cover for charity or cole had to record the cover for charity and um cole did literally everything on that song um brandon and i sing harmony but um we uh uh what was i saying oh but we were like oh i mean what could a good video be when we said we just put together just yeah, like random videos of us because we're friends and because we miss each other. Um, and Nikolai edited the whole thing too. And he did an amazing job. We had no notes. <laughs> well, we're so glad to uh, hear that you, you um, really enjoyed doing that. And um, we also enjoyed watching the music video and we can't wait for more of your releases. But before we let you go, um, do you have any message for all of your Filipino fans? Have you ever been to the Philippines, guys? Um, of course, they would want to know when you're going to be here. <laughs> what's, the pers- what's the possibility? We, hope- <laughs> <laughs> we will be there when the world opens back up. That's when... <laughs> I read today, like some, I forget who it was, but some big guy saying he doesn't think live music will return until 2022. No. So, like, Ooh. so, like, I don't That's know. But whenever we can, whenever we can, we cannot wait to come and meet everyone and play shows and just, just see it for ourselves, you know? Uh, yeah. Since you've yeah, never yeah. been to the Philippines yet, um, can we just ask what have you heard from the Philippines or what have you heard about the Philippines from your Filipino fans? Um, are they loud online? <laughs> Do they message you? I see a lot from our Filipino fans. Like, it, it seems like one of our more passionate, like, I guess, fan bases are placed in the world. So mm-hmm. um, I love everyone that I've, that I've uh, seen interact with us on the internet. So I can't wait to like actually see some like faces, like put faces yeah. to the names. You know what I mean? <laughs> in their physical form, in their three, four dimensional form. Yeah, four D. <laughs> <laughs> so that's funny. Okay, and now just just for that final message, you know, we're really excited for you to hopefully come here for that hundred hundred percent possibility uh, to be a reality. But just the last thing, can we ask for a message from each one of you uh, to all the Filipino fans? Something they can hold on to until they get to see you in person when you come here. Um, Something to hold. Hmm. I cannot wait to come see you. (laughs) That's my, and thank you. And that's my message. Um, My message would be, I can't wait to come see you. I can't wait to to perform, to see the sights. if you ever just need to, you know, drink some like green tea, think of Wallas. Just a nice comforting drink before something <laughs> to hold on to and burn your hand. <laughs> no, don't burn your hand on the hot tea. Uh, yeah, that, that's my message. If you do drink tea, please do not burn your hand as Brayden told you to yeah, do. Yeah, wait, every day, every day that we don't see you, stay hydrated and stay healthy. That's what you can hold on to. And then when we get there, we continue yeah. that. Yes, and <laughs> thank you for supporting us, and we love you, and we will we'll be there as soon as we can. That's it's out of our control at the moment, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. So you again, guys are wonderful. By the way, this has been amazing. You guys are great. You guys yes. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, you so much. much. <laughs> and we really enjoyed this interview as well. We felt like you know, at least for the last uh, ninety minutes, we felt we were, we were we were sort of part of your your group of friends, uh, just hanging out. And again. We are so excited no, I wanna, for you guys. I want to get on this more. Oh, great. Yeah. We'd love, love to have Let's you back. When you, when you release your song and when you can finally, you know, talk about not okay. just the possibilities, but the realities, we will be here. You know, the Philippines is waiting for you guys uh, with open arms. So once again, Wallos, thank you very much. Um, oh, wait. Before we let you awesome. go, can we teach you um, a okay. Filipino phrase? 
just you know something that your Filipino fans can hold on to. Yeah. It just it just says um, I love you. So it's mahal namin kayo. Nahal main ka. Uh, Sorry, we'll do it one at a time. Mahal, ma- mahal, mahal. Yes. Namin, namin. Kayo, namin. Kayo. That means we kayo. love you. Kayo. Yeah. So mahal, mahal, mahal namin, kayo. kayo. Hey. Mahal, oh, namin, kayo. kayo. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> can, can we say it like um all together? One, okay, two, three, go. Uh, mahal namin kayo. <laughs> kayo. <laughs> yeah. You know, you got it. You got it. And as well yes, as we got it. There, as well as, you know, it, it, it's coming from the heart. And we feel it. It's coming from the heart. Uh, so, yeah, you know, we, we love you. Mahal, mahal din namin kayo. All the Filipino fans, uh, they really love you. And again, you know, I keep saying this because it's really true. We can't wait for you guys to come here. And to come on again with more music. So once again, thank you for watching this exclusive. My name is Anton. And my name is Ai. Thank you guys. Thank you, Wallows, for joining us. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you.